Amen. 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 God bless you that you come and see this wonderful service for Miles Memorial City Church in Rockford, Illinois. My name is Pastor Roland Brown, and we pray that you are here to get saved, to get revived, and get renewed on this wonderful May 30th, yes. 2021. It's good to be alive and well. Amen. And to see each other's face one more time. Yeah. The Bible says the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Yeah. Let us make a joyful noise into the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise with him with songs. Oh, praise the Lord, yes. all ye nations. Praise him, yeah. all ye people. For his merciful kindness is great towards us. And the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord. Yeah. Oh, be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Yes. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. The Lord is good. His mercy endureth forever and ever, and his truth endureth to all generations. This is the day that the Lord has made. Yes. We shall go rejoice and be glad in it. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Go back and by the Lord with me. Yes. Let us exalt his name together. For with him is the fountain of life. And in him shall we see light. Oh, I, I feel good today. Amen. I don't know about you, but I feel good today. Mm -hmm. That song said, I was a soldier in the army of the Lord. I was a soldier in the army of the Lord. I was a soldier in the army of the Lord. Something that's been said, something that's been sung, something that's
Testament 3 will touch somebody yeah. to get closer to you. We'll be mine to give you the praise, the thanks, and the glory in the name okay. of Jesus Christ our Lord. Yes. Church, say amen. 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 There's a song that says, All were Christian soldiers marching on to war with the cross of Jesus going on before. It's found in number 385 in your books, in your hymn books. And yes, some die someday soon. We'll be able to come on in and sing that song. But it, it, it's on 385. It's, it's a sing song. Onward, Christian soldiers, marching as to war with the cross of Jesus going on before Christ the royal master leads again. Pontius Pilate, 
was crucified, dead and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sit at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From this he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us hear a song. Holy Spirit, move in this place. Bring a fresh anointing on the Let us lay aside every weight 
and the sin which doth so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, yeah. the author and finisher of our faith, yeah. who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. May God have a blessing. Amen. The reading, the hearing, the doing of this most holy word. This time we get ready to give off of us. Next Sunday we're going to come and get back into church after over a year. Yeah. Of not able to come back to the house of God. But I thank you for continuing to support the ministry of Miles Memorial CME Church. Amen. And so I ask that you continue to do so. And I hope that you're in the Rockford area. Stop by 1035 Michigan Avenue and have service with us. Yes. 11 o'clock. We're looking forward to having a wonderful time with Holy Communion. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. As we go to the altar, we ask that you be in prayer. For some of families who have lost a loved one this past week. Yeah. Some of y'all were part of maybe those who were COVID-19 victims that passed on just this past week. Mm. Even though we have vaccination, even though we, uh, we are trying to get closer and closer to somewhat called normal. Mm. People are still dying of COVID-19. Yeah, yeah. Pray for the poor Shea family and the uh, Carl Ishman family, mm -hmm. Suzanne Smith family, yes, yes. Marsha West, and other people just this past week yes. have gone. We ask that you keep them in your prayers. Because we have people right now that are going through the valley mm. of the shadow of death. Yes, yes. Pray for those who are also suffering from COVID 19 and other diseases. Pray for the sick and shutting. Yes. The hungry and the needy. Pray for the homeless and the poor, sinners and backsliders. Yes. Pray for every church that has already opened up and will open up. Yes, yes. Pray for the church. Yes. Pray for the church. Pray for those like. Kelvin Parker and yes. Caitlin Salmonado. Pray for the abused and the abusers. Pray for family and friends. Pray for people you know and people you don't know. Pray for the enemies. Yes. That's what the Bible says. And that you pray for yourself. Yes, yes. That God will heal your body, deliver you from anything that you're going through, and will save your soul and make you whole. Amen. Why don't you pray for those that during this weekend will have traveling grace yes, yes. here and there. Yes. Why don't you pray as we remember those who came this way. Some of you are going to 
grave sites and go out to remember. I ask that you would be in prayer for those who still have not gotten over so and so gone. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It's been over a month. So and so is gone. They still not gotten over. Over a year, so and so is gone, and they have not gotten over it. Mm -hmm. Pray for healing. Pray for the hole that's there. Yeah. yeah. Be filled with Jesus. Yes. Amen. Let us pray, Father. We come before you. We have shared a list. And we ask that you take that list, Lord, and go throughout the hospitals, and go throughout the nursing homes, and go throughout private homes, go throughout this, this town, Rock, go throughout this, this, this state, Illinois, go throughout this country, the United States of America, go throughout this whole world.
those two scriptures. I want you to hear how the different versions and translations, how they share a little something that will help us understand this word of God. Yeah. Yeah. Second Timothy 2, 3, and 4, and Hebrews 12, 1 and 2. Coming from the New International Version, it sounds and says this, Endure hardship with us like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No one serving as a soldier <laughs> gets involved in civilian affairs. He wants to please his commanding officer. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 12, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders us and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with patient perseverance the race yeah. marked out for us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, yeah. the author and the perfecter of our faith, yeah. who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorned his shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Yeah. The same scriptures from the New Living Translation says it this way, endure suffering along with me as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. Soldiers don't let, don't get tied up in affairs of the civilian life, for they are, they cannot please the officer who enlisted them. Yeah. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, yeah. especially the sin that so easily tripped us up. And let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. Yeah, yeah. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, yeah. the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Because of the joy awaiting him, he endured the cross, disregarding his shame. And now he is seated in the place of honor besides God, God's throne. Yes, amen. God's word translated says, Join me in suffering like good soldier, a good soldier of Christ Jesus. Whoever serves in the military, doesn't get mixed up in non-military activities. Mm. This pleases his commanding officer. Since we are surrounded by so many examples of faith, we must get rid of everything that slows us down, especially sin that distracts us. Mm. We must run the race that lies ahead of us and never give up. We must focus on Jesus, yeah. the source and the goal of our faith. He saw the joy ahead of him, so he endured death on the cross, ignored the disgrace it brought him. Then he received the highest position in heaven, the, the one next to the throne of God. Yes. Contemporary English version, one more says this, as a good soldier of Christ Jesus, you must endure your shame of suffering. Mm. Soldiers on duty don't work outside jobs. They try to please their commanding officer. Such a large crowd of witnesses is all around us. Mm. So we must get rid of everything that slows us down. Especially the sin that just won't let us go. Uh, won't let you go. And we must be determined to run the race yeah. that's ahead of us. 
We must keep our eyes on Jesus, yeah. who leads us and, and, and it makes our faith complete. Amen. He endured the shame of being nailed to a cross because he knew that later he would be glad he did. Mm. Now he is seated at the right side of God's throne. Amen. Amen. From this text comes this message. message. Calling all soldiers. Mm. It's time to be a good soldier. Amen. Calling all soldiers. It's time to be good soldiers. On this day, May 30th, 1868, that was the first Memorial Day mm. to commemorate the sacrifices of Civil War soldiers mm -hmm. by proclamation of General John Logan of the Grand Army of the Republic on organization that focus on Union so sailors and soldiers. In our text today, many titles that Christians have throughout the New Testament, we all are given the title soldier. Mm. And then there's another title given in the text. Good soldier. Yeah. Not just soldier, good soldier. Yeah. There's a difference between a soldier and a good soldier. Mm -hmm. One who has listed in the military, the other obeys his or her superior officer mm -hmm. with no question or hesitation. This holiday weekend, we commemorate not only the brave soldiers of our military of the United States of America who gave their lives, mm -hmm. who, who served with dignity, mm -hmm. but we also commemorate the brave soldiers of Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Who are in every church <laughs> throughout the world, everywhere. Past five years, we at Mile Memorial have lost some good soldiers. Amen, amen. Every church in the past five years have lost some good soldiers. Yeah. Those who did the work and keeping the church surviving and thriving. Those who made sure the church wasn't going to go down. Mm -hmm. Those who came sun and rain, yeah, yeah. hot and cold, mm -hmm. whether they feel good or didn't feel good, they came in and out. Good soldiers. But these soldiers didn't just die and no longer exist. But they have joined mm -hmm. the great cloud of witnesses. Yes, amen. Not only the ones that I named in the chapter before chapter 12, which is chapter 11, but those who came before, who fought the fight, yeah, yeah. who did it with pride, who did it with joy. In our text, as those who are still alive 
on this side of dirt must do five things to be a good soldier. Five things. As we get ready to come back to church, we must not just be soldiers. Yeah. We should not be one that just enlisted and just sit on a pew. Mm. We should not be one that just said, well, I'm back and, and, and I'll just sit back and, and, and just take it all away. No, no, no. You're called to be a soldier. In the army of the Lord. Yes, yes. And not just soldier, but a good soldier. Jesus Christ is still calling everyone to be a good soldier. And we have enough, we have enough, we have enough just soldiers. Mm -hmm. We have enough there. Mm -hmm. We want a title, but not the son. Who want to say I am a Christian? But don't want to die and, and, and serve mm -hmm. as a Christian. Mm -hmm. Five things you need to do in order to be a good soldier. Number one, know that the Christian life is a warfare against Satan in a hostile world. Every day, everywhere, and every time. Mm -hmm. Huh. Some folks think the Christian life is easy. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. When you gave your life to Jesus Christ, you also got an enemy. Yeah, yeah. His name is Satan. Mm -hmm. And he will try by circumstances, by people, and just by yourself to get you tripped up, yeah. to get you messed up, mm -hmm. and to put your weapon down and say, yeah, you're okay, you, you, I need to follow you back, follow back with you. No! To be a good soul, you need to know that the Christian life is a warfare. Yeah. Yeah. We're not fighting with this thing, we're fighting with spiritual warfare. Yes, yes. We are working and we're working hard to, to fight the battle. Say, fight the good fight of faith. You do not want to be a soldier just hanging around. Mm -hmm. You want to fight the good fight of faith. And there I'll come tell you, just fight. I come tell you, fight. You always can't always just turn away. Mm -hmm. Say what you just turn away. No, you got to fight. You got to fight. Second, you need to hear the songs about the soldiers of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I, I, when I was getting this message there, I heard five songs that talks about soldiers of Jesus Christ. I, I already done two of them. Armored Christian soldiers. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm a soldier in the army, in the army of the Lord. Yes. And I'm a soldier of the cross, a follower of the Lamb. Stand up, stand up for Jesus, ye soldiers of the cross. We are soldiers in the army. We got to fight. Although we got to cry, we got to hold up the blood-stained banner. We got to hold up until we die. Let's begin. We are soldiers in the army. We got to fight, although we got to cry. We got to hold up the blood-stained banner. We got to hold up we got to hear those songs. Mm -hmm. we got to hear those songs. And let, and let, let you know, we gotta, we, we gotta hear, when we hear them, we got to hear them because it's talking about us. Mm -hmm. we soldiers. Yes, yes. we soldiers. Three, not to forget the 
good soldiers who passed on and who is cheering us up right now with the great cloud of witnesses. Yeah, yeah. Past five years, I asked someone to, to help me find who, who, who had passed out of mouth the past five years. And, 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 and I asked him, I asked him, they call the road. Mm. You need to call the road. Mary Webb. Yes, yeah. Linda Durham. Mm -hmm. Lloyd Hawk. Yes. Benjamin Lilly. Mm -hmm. Thomas Lilly. Mm -hmm. David Lilly. Mm -hmm. Bruce Parham. Mm -hmm. Becky Parham. Mm -hmm. Letitia Parham. Errol Pouncey. Mm -hmm. Gordon Cooper Hamilton. Barry Cooper, John Cooper, and just recently we had a go like Reverend Georgia Hunter, John Jamie Cooper, Leonard Errington. If I miss somebody, call me up, tell me I miss somebody that the five years have been in my house and served at God. We should never forget what they have done. Never forget that you are on their shoulders. Mm -hmm. so, shoulders, soldiers, soldiers, soldiers. Never forget them. Yes. Never forget them. Lynn, number four. No, now is the time to turn and be a good servant, soldier. Now is the time to turn and be a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Who I call are not coming back. Yeah, yeah. The folks that I call are not coming back. Mm -hmm. Who will pick up the bandit? Who will pick up their weapon and say, I'm going to fight. Is shown by its fruits. 
is therefore expected of all who continue therein, they shall continue to evidence their desire of salvation. Mm. First, by doing no harm, yes. by avoiding evil of every kind, yes. especially that which is most generally practiced, such as the taking of the name of God in vain, the profaning of the day of the Lord, either by doing ordinary work therein, or buying or selling, drunkenness or drinking spiritless liquors, unless in case of necessity, fighting, quarreling, brawling, brother going to law with brother, returning evil for evil, or railing for railing, the use of many words in buying and selling, the buying and selling of goods that have not paid the duty, giving or taking things on usury, or in the example, unlawful interest, uncharitable, unprofitable conversation, particularly speaking of evil of magistrates and ministers, or ministers, doing to others what we would not they should do unto us. Doing what we know is not the glory of God, such as putting on of gold and costly apparel, the taking of such diversion as cannot be used in the name of Jesus Christ. Sing of those songs and read those books that do not tend to give the knowledge of or love of God. Softness or neatness, self-indulgence, laying treasure upon earth, borrowing good without a probability of pain, or taking up good without a probability of paying them. If expected of all who continue in these societies, they should continue to evidence their desire of salvation. Secondly, by doing good, by being in every kind merciful after their power, as they have opportunity, doing good of every possible sort, as far as possible to all men, to their bodies and the ability which God given by giving food to the hungry, by clothing the naked, by visiting or helping them that are sick or in prison, to their souls by instructing and reproving and exhorting all that we have in, in intercourse with, traveling under their foot, the enthusiastic doctrine that says we are not too good uh, unless our hearts be free to do it. By doing good, especially in them, that are the household of faith or growing so to be, employing them profitably to others, buying one another, helping one another in business, and so much the more, because the world loves its own yes. and them only. Mm. By all possible diligence and frugality, that the God will be not blamed by running, here we go, by running with patience mm. the race set before them, denying themselves and taking up their cross daily, submitting to hear and reproach of Christ, by bearing the filth and the outscoring of the world, and looking at men should save all men of evil against them for the name's sake. Mm. It is yeah. expected of all who desire to continue in these societies that they should continue to evidence their desire of salvation. Thirdly, by attending all of the ordinance of God, such as public worship of God, the ministry of the word, even read or expounded, the supper of the Lord, family and private prayer, searching the scriptures, fasting or abstinence. These are the general rules of our societies, all mm -hmm. which we are taught of God to observe, even in his written word, mm -hmm. which is the only rule and sufficient rule, both our faith and practice, and all we know is spirit on all truly awakened hearts. If there be any among us who observe them not, who eventually or breaks any of them, let it be known unto them who watch over that soul, and they must give an account. We must admonish him of the error of his ways. We bear or bear him for a season. But if then he repents not, he have no more place among us. We have delivered our own souls. That's just some of the things that 
we need to do as soldiers. Mm -hmm. As soldiers. As soldiers. As, as I told you, I want to ask you, are you a soldier? Are you a soldier? Are you, are you a good soldier? Mm, amen. The time is now to turn from being a soldier to a good soldier. Mm -hmm. Good soldiers are on duty all the time. Mm -hmm. Good soldiers try to live right, yeah, yeah. do right, be right. Mm -hmm. Good soldiers. Try to help folk while they can. Yes. Never know that you may be in the same position. God is calling. Yes, yes. All soldiers. It's time to be good soldiers. We want to hear that day where Jesus will say, Well done, good and faithful servant. Well done. Good soldier. Yeah. Ha! Yeah. You've been faithful in a few things. Yes. Come on up high. I'll make you ruler over men. Yes. Are you a soldier? I'm talking to somebody that still haven't enlisted in the army of the Lord. Still out there, having said, Lord, ABC. Hey! Having said to the Lord, ABC. Mm -hmm. We're talking, preacher. A, admit you're a sinner. Yeah. B, believe that Jesus Christ died for your sins and rose again from the dead. C, make him your Lord mm -hmm. and say, that's all it takes to be a soldier. And I'm, I, and I'm begging you to come. Because the war is getting worse. Mm. Satan knows he only got a little time left. Yes. And he's trying to get all people on his side. Get on God's side. Amen. Get on God's side. And be a soldier of the cross. Yeah. Be a soldier. Let us pray. Father, we ask that you help us. Help us, Lord. Be good soldiers. Yes. We thank you for the good soldiers that have came our way. Yes, Lord. Thank you. For their love and for their love for the church. Yes. Your church. Lord, you have called us to be a good soldier. Yes. Help us, Lord, yes. in every single way. And we'll be mindful to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. And we say this in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Say next Sunday at 11 o'clock, we ask that you come to Miles Memorial CME Church, 1035 Michigan Avenue in Rockville, Illinois. We'll have a reopening of in person worship with Holy Communion. And we pray that you will be blessed throughout this week as we sing the song. Pray. God from whom all blessings flow, praise in all creatures,
be good soldiers of Jesus Christ. Now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of God, and the community of the Holy Spirit be with you both now and forever. Let the church say, Amen.